you really need to be able to embrace the culture or otherwise it's just being an American in a different country. We attended the Harvard Model United Nations Conference in China. Each person represents a country. There were over a thousand kids from a multitude of other countries. I went on the Nepal community service trip and we were volunteering at an orphanage. I traveled to Zambia. Schools today, I believe, have a commitment to ensuring that our students are educated to live in a more globalised world. We want students to understand multiple perspectives. We present students with literature from every inhabited continent on the globe. The CI, we have an opportunity for students coming in kindergarten or sixth grade or ninth grade or whenever, or faculty coming here, to develop relationships with people and getting to know a bunch of other kids in Korea growing up with them. Maybe here and there just doing sporadic sharing of what, what's going on in your art classes or talking about reactions to a novel. But over the course of, of, of years, some of them will come here, some of us will go there. You're building relationships and you're growing up and changing together. And your sense of the world is becoming smaller and your sense of, the, of your community is becoming larger. I think that being in India gave me a greater sense of how big the world is and in relation how little my problems are. I think I realized that I was grateful to live the life that I have and like be able to be go to the school and like experience this kind of stuff because not everyone gets to do it. I honestly think that it made me very independent because I actually thought that I wasn't ready for this. One of the things we asked the students is how are you a, more a citizen of the world now? What does it mean to be a citizen of the world as a result of these experiences? And I realized that it serves as, the experience served as a window and that I was able to peer into the, uh, Afri or the Zambian culture as well as a mirror and that I was able to uh, see my own character and learn from that. I think that it's different to go on a vacation like Say you go to Colombia, that you, like you see like the tourist attractions and stuff, and you you meet a couple Colombians, but like when you're with Round Square, like it's so different. You're interacting with them, and you're really being immersed into their culture, and that's a whole other thing. My hope would be that the students grow both as individuals and in turning in terms of becoming stronger leaders and become stronger in their character and their determination to take on challenges and succeed and really gain an appreciation for what it means to honor and respect other people's opinions while also forming your own opinions and your own understanding. We did a tour of Old Delhi and we weren't just sitting in a tour bus, air conditioned, going, oh, there's a spice market. Oh, look, there's a chicken running around. We actually, uh, we were walking on the streets. We were completely immersed in the culture. I think that there's always some trepidation when you let your child out the door, especially when they're going so far away. For someone who has hesitations, I think just understand that it's going to be an amazing experience no matter what, and so, I mean, of course there are going to be challenges and of course there are going to be difficulties, but in the long run it's absolutely worth it. I think my husband and I and Ryan grew to understand that as she goes out in the world, you know, we have to trust that we've done the right things and that she's going to make the right decisions. And so, um, you know, whether she goes around the corner or Columbia. The most exciting part of that trip for me was getting that FaceTime call in the middle of the night from China. And there Kyle was telling me that Chadwick won the award and the other students were in the background waving and the teachers. And I felt the excitement in the air and I was so thrilled to be part of that experience. One of the main discoveries I made about myself is that even though the world may seem very big and very like complex and elaborate, the like general morality across all borders, all cultures, all religions is generally pretty similar. I share similarities with people I would have never expected to share similarities to. And I feel like because the world is so small, because everyone is so intertwined, I feel more confident in myself that I can actually achieve something meaningful to me in my life.